and welcome back to another episode of this week's podcast. I want to say thank you for showing up again. Well, for showing up, if this is your first time, I thank you for being a first time listener. If you're a returning listener, thank you for seeing some value in what I have to say every week concerning noise pollution and giving me another chance. And I do appreciate all the listeners that I have and thank you for spending a few minutes with me checking in every week, every Friday as I do post a new episode every Friday. This week's episode is a continuation. I'm continuing the series that I started a few episodes ago uh, where I'm focusing on noise pollution and its effects across different lifespans, different, at different stages in life, where we are in different stages in life. And last week we left off on children, how noise affects children. I felt like this was a critical episode because it's the teenage years are a critical time in, in everyone's life. It was in mine and, it's, and it probably was in your life because this is a stage where the brain is really being challenged because teenagers are going through different stages. Teenagers are trying to find themselves, if that's a good term for it. Well, yeah, because I was trying to find myself as a teenager and a lot of people are still trying to find themselves as, a, as adults. But teen, the teenage years are popular for that adolescent stage where teenagers are challenged with so many different distractions around them from their from the peer pressure from the things they see on TV all the things that they take in in our in their their surrounding environments and the number one thing now is is social media so their distractions are a lot more than what the distractions were for me as a teenager or maybe for you. So I think that when we, when we throw a noise in the middle of all of this, on top of all the other distractions that they have to deal with, it's really critical to understand how noise can impact what's already impacting their development. But like, but like I do with every episode, before we get started, I, I have to always go back to giving you a, a brief introduction of noise pollution and what, it's, what it is and what it's all about and exactly what this entire podcast is about. And it's mostly for first time listeners, but if you are returning and you need that reminder, this is why I do it every episode, just to give you a quick introduction just to keep it fresh on your mind that's another reason why I do it because if you if I repeat it over and over it start it sinks in more and more and it becomes common understanding so when I think about it if I hear the term now I automatically know what it is I don't have to think about it even when I hear when I'm around it I say oh this is noise pollution my brain just automatically goes there but noise pollution is are unwanted sounds. Noise pollution is a sound that disrupts your peace in some way. Whether it's too loud or it's too long in the sound, it just doesn't end like someone forgetting to turn off their car alarm. That's noise pollution. Another example is traffic. Another example well, a sub-example of tra- traffic would be the big trucks, the loud trucks that are on the road, the uh, the dump trucks, or like in my case, there was a truck that went by. It's a city truck that sweeps the, uh, I guess that they're sweeping it. It looks like there's a big sweeper on it that sweeps the, the street, the side of the street. That's a really noisy truck, and I can hear it no matter where I am in my house. So since I record my episode, here in my uh, home studio, I have to wait until it finishes because I was about to start because that's a that's an unscheduled 
I didn't know that it was going to be there today. There's no schedule that when we know that it's going to go around the neighborhood. So I just had I had to wait until it finished because if I didn't, it would definitely be part of the recording, and I don't want that. So that's another example of noise pollution. I didn't. That's the sound that I didn't want. But if I was someone that was working overnight and I'm getting off work and I'm trying to get some sleep and that truck was outside my window, that's going to disrupt my rest. And that's what noise pollution does. It disrupts in some way because I didn't want the sound. I didn't invite the sound and I couldn't control the sound. To a point I could have. I can always wear headphones, but for some people wearing headphones and trying to go to sleep is uncomfortable. And another example, or my last quick example, is a lawnmower, which is something I'm gonna be doing tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I have to mow my lawn. It, there's rain in the forecast, so it may or may not rain, but I try to get out there every week and keep it taken care of. So that's going to create some noise pollution for my neighbors. Yesterday, my, one of my neighbors was cutting more on his lawn, and that created some noise pollution for me because I was working on something, trying to concentrate, and he was mowing his lawn. I'm not upset at him about it, but that's just an example of noise pollution because I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow, and I'm sure that it will disturb someone tomorrow in some way. But they can't control it, and it's unplanned for them. So that's a, another example of noise pollution, which is ironic because it's around us every day, and we can't escape it. There is no escaping. Even in a quiet area, like I mentioned in one of the episodes I was speaking about, not being able to concentrate in the, in the library. I was in the library. I went by just for a short 30 minutes. I had 30 minutes to spare. I was scheduled to go and meet with someone, but I was while I was waiting, I, I waited in the library for 30 minutes, and, and I was just trying to read a book. But now the libraries are noisy. It used to be super quiet. It used to be an unwritten law that libraries were quiet. But that's, I know I know it's not, it's not a legal law that they have to be quiet, but it's just been that way for so long. It's, it's just been, in, we're programmed or we're conditioned to not speak at all in the library because it's supposed to be a quiet place. But it's not that way. Well, if I can say that it's not that way now because it could be that way in other libraries. It's just, maybe it was just that particular library that I go to that is louder. It's not any different from being outside. And so I couldn't concentrate. I was trying to read a book, but I couldn't concentrate. But I looked over and I saw a kid. I could tell she was a teenager. She was reading. She had, she was working on something, but she also had her, her her earbuds in and I could hear the music I didn't know what she was playing or I didn't know what she was listening to but it was loud enough for me to hear and I'm thinking she has that music blasting in her ear how can she concentrate on what she's working on or what she was reading how can she or if she is and I thought if that were me if I'm a teenager how would I be able to do it and I think that if it's something that you're interested in, like she may have been reading something that she was highly interested in, then you you learn how to tune it out. You become conditioned to the noise. And then in some cases, it seems like you become dependent on it. You can't constant, you can't work without it. I know what it's doing to her ears by having the, those earbuds jammed into her ear and with the music playing so loud. I know this. Maybe she's become conditioned to that noise. Teenagers deal with a lot of stress. And I think it's because there are days at school that's so full and it's so busy. 
in that business is noise. That's a big part of that. Because you think about the things that go on in schools, the classrooms are busy, in between classes. When that bell rings, if it's a teenager, normally they're in a bigger school now. So you have hundreds of kids commuting in that short period of time, like five minutes in between the next class, so they're having to get there. And just the, the hustle and bustle of commuting and the stress of getting, getting from one location to the next. It's busy and it's noisy, but they, they've become conditioned to it. And then when they get in classrooms, classrooms aren't quiet that much anymore, so they're noisy, having to filter out all the noise in the classrooms and trying to concentrate. This is a, this is a critical stage for teenagers because of their brain development, the cognitive development. What I mean by cognitive development is it's the, uh, their ability to think and reason. And we know how important being able to think and reason is for teenagers because they're faced with decision-making scenarios every day, all day long. All of any decision that they make, it's critical for them because it can affect the rest of their lives, the decisions that they make. And they need to be able to think and make reasonable decisions. And I say that noise impacts that. If, if the noise levels are high, I believe that it, it does impair their attention and concentration in some way. Because if it makes it difficult for me as an adult to focus on something, and my brain is more developed, it's more experienced, it has to affect their, their studies in some way. Because we already know historically, kids make good grades, kids make bad grades. Could noise be a problem? Could noise impact that? There's, I'm sure there are, I mean, I'm not an expert in this field, but I'm just giving my opinion because I'm sure that there are many factors where a teenager would make a bad grade. Could be no interest in the class itself. Could be purposely done and just don't, you know, maybe they just don't care about this class or they just don't care about the grade or they just don't, you know, there could be many possible scenarios to that narrative. But I, but I think that noise plays an impact on everything because when they come home, it's just like we do when we come home from our jobs, many of us that come that work in busy environments, you come home, you're just depleted. Your brain is just depleted and you just wanna let go. And it seems to be a com it seems to be a common trend or, or well, not a trend, but a common pattern for teenagers. That when they come home, they just they want to go to their room and close the door and forget about the world that they just left. But now it's harder for them to forget about the world that they leave because they bring it home with them on their smartphones. So they're always connected. They're never disconnected from what's going on. One of my episodes, I mentioned that the noise levels that I had to deal with in, in uh, I think it, it was a timeshare presentation that I had to sit through and how I felt like the noise was a strategy, a tactic for the salesperson to, to get me in some way to make a, uh, a rush decision. And I couldn't think. And when you're in that type of environment when it's just so noisy, you can't really think. And I wonder if, you just thinking about that now, the, um, I was just thinking about basketball players that play in the NBA. I just want to point out that they're, make, they, they're having to make good decisions instantly. But they're somehow able to tune out the noise. Since I'm talking about teenagers, let's just say college sports even high school sports. I know that all of the noise comes from 
the, the stands, the fans in the stands, but also the noise is there. If it's basketball, the noise is there on the floor with the basketball bouncing on the on the basketball court and 10, 10 sneakers running across the floor squeaking and you have the referee whistles. All those things are noisy. Those are, I would say, that's those are really split decisions that the players have to make in that noisy environment. And when you see them fumble, fumble the ball or throw the ball away or, or they break the rule in some way, could it be that their, their, their decision was impaired just for that moment because it got so noisy they got distracted? Could be. Something to think about. I've never really thought about it that way, but I'll think about it now. So here's another thought that I had. And actually, I just had this thought. If you're a parent that has a teenager, well, number one, good luck. Being a parent to a teenager is tricky. And being a teenager itself is tough. And nowadays, it's 10 times as tough as what it was when I was a teenager. I know it's common for parents to just not understand teenagers. The teenagers don't understand themselves. They don't know what's going on. But their emotions are up and down. Parents are, I don't know what's wrong with these. Or if it's your kid, I don't know what's wrong with him or her today. I just don't know. Their emotions are up and down. And some of them have just frequent mood swings. With what they're already going through with their brain and developing and trying to figure out who they are and where they fit in at school, where they fit in in the environment, what they want to do, all the pressure that's on them to keep up good grades, to keep their rooms clean, be it to be a good role model to their little brother or sister, to please their parents, please their friends, to keep up on Instagram or TikTok, to be popular, to be cool, all these things to try to fit into the to this world, to a world that they're not even comfortable being in because they're not yet comfortable in their own skin. Trying, they're trying to figure things out, just like we did. And as we already know, our brain can be overworked. It gets exhausted trying to filter out everything. From an adult standpoint, other things that they try to focus on, we don't see them as, we don't rank them as high as they rank them because we've been there and we're in a different stage in life and we're able to see the bigger picture. They can't, they can't, they can yet see that. So they have to focus on everything and trying to figure out everything. And when you have noise in the middle of all of that, where the noise, where, well, where the noise is in the middle or where the noise is on the outside of that, Noise is a part of that. Now they have to factor in noise and they're not even aware that noise is even around, that noise can even affect them. A lot of times they think that there's other things that's making them feel a certain way or they're clueless. Maybe that's where noise comes in when they're clueless about what's wrong. Because if you ask them, they're gonna say nothing is wrong. Or they may say they don't know. Because if you rule out all these other things, they're not having any trouble in schools. Their girlfriend and boyfriend didn't break up with them. No problems with their friends. None of these other things that we can rule out. But have we ever factored in noise? I know they haven't. And that if we haven't as a parent, they haven't as a, as a child. Could that be the one thing that's never mentioned? I'm a parent, but I don't have teenagers anymore, but there's still something to think about. And if you do have teenagers, maybe you can ask them about the noise levels around their environment. And actually, not just the noise levels, talk about some things that are noisy. Have them to maybe pay attention to what's noisy. And just talk to them about awareness, being aware of the environment of what's noisy. Like, pick out some noise sources, and 
focus on how long they are, how long the source is, how long the, the noise lasts, and how loud it is. I mean, there's just some, some, we talk about, we talk to our kids about certain things in life, but how much do we talk about noise? Because we have to see, we have to see it as important enough to educate them in this area. Because if we don't, they won't. They, they're not hardly gonna pick it up themselves because we know that teenagers are gonna pick up. They're gonna focus on other things that are less important, that are less critical. They won't focus on things that are more critical because it's just not important to them. Things have, they have to be made aware. So if we're aware, we can make them aware. You know, why not help them think outside of the box because they don't think about noise and how it could affect them. But I guarantee that it does. That, that could be the missing piece of what stresses them out or what it adds stress and they don't, they're not aware of that. Because many of us aren't even aware of it. So, as I come to a close on this episode, just think about, think about everything that I've mentioned here um, I'll think of, I'll continue to think about how critical it can be for teenagers and what I do is well what I will do I don't know many teenagers now there aren't many in my family but there, there is something that the next time I see one of them I'm going to ask them about that about the noise in their schools about the noise in their environment and we know that's tricky now because Teenagers aren't really receptive to conversations like it used to be. You used to, you used to be able to speak to a teenager and hold a conversation and they will listen. Not that way now. You have to be really careful now. You, there, are, there, there are not many that I've seen that's, recept, that's receptive and respectable to adults when they're talking to them. So there's a couple in my family now that still teenagers are they're young enough that they'll be teenagers for the next few years. So the next time I see them, that's something I'm going to mention. And if I see them soon, I'll bring it back to the show and tell you, tell you about that conversation and how it went. So that's it for this week. And as we move on to the next series, the next episode in the series, well, the next series will be the next phase in life past now that we were, um, are moving past the teenage years so going into the adult years now now our brains are developed our mind is developed but another thing is happening also we're suffering from hearing loss from all those years of listening to loud music we'll get into that next week on the next episode so thanks for showing up again. Thanks for listening in. And until next time, be mindful of the sounds around you and take care. <laughs>